the issue so much isn't the technology itself, but how we use it like any other tool. So the argument of rolling back technology isn't necessarily beneficial. It's more just pretty much saying like we've created a problem and instead of trying to fix it to create the best situation, we're just going to go back to when it was a little better. If you even wanted to argue it was better. We talked about, you know, rolling back technology versus keeping it stagnant. Well, do you think that there is a ceiling to when technological advancement will have gone too far? Like, is there, is it possible that things could ever go too far? I don't think technology itself could ever go too far, but I definitely think we can use technology in the wrong way. So for example, if we use, if, if, you know, we rolled back technology, but we still had books, but these books were just like pictures of Kim Kardashian and what she ate this morning, then I would say that we're misusing books. Um, and it's not because the books themselves are bad. It's just because of how we're using them. So I would say you can never put to technology too far, but I would definitely say that, you know, you can use technology incorrectly. Well, you can look throughout history that once a technology exists, you cannot change the way that it is being used. Once it becomes ubiquitous, it is uh, inescapable, right? You can look at how it started with printing press to television, now to smartphones, social media, internet. You know, if something is being used inappropriately, that's not really an argument uh, as to how the thing in itself is good. However it's used is sort of, you know, how it's net benefit to society is. Um, so, so my big argument for why you need to have a hard limit on where technology goes is would you support things like transhumanism or genetic modification of babies, uh, things like that. And I think that these are things you need to take a very hard line stance on because once you take that, uh, uh, open up that Pandora's box, you're not putting it back in, right? So if it ends up being misused, good luck trying to not misuse it anymore. Um, to bring up the issues you brought up, like, you know, transhumanism and, uh, you know, genetic modification, I would say that I'm, we, we have transhumanism today. If someone loses an arm, we do give them like a robot arm, not to make them a better human being, but to help them, you know, become as close as they can from a disabled state. And so if you're asking me, like, should we keep helping the disabled, you know, be as, as abled as possible? Yes. Um, when it comes to genetic modification of babies, once again, that's something we could look at doing to solve diseases like sickle cell anemia before they're born with that. And if you're asking me, should we try to like, cure sickle cell anemia, then I'm going to say yes. Now, are you asking me, should we have designer babies? Uh, no. But once again, this isn't because I'm saying the technology of genetically modifying a baby is wrong. I think it's okay to, you know, create, you know, essentially make your baby not have lifelong conditions it doesn't have to have. Um, and so I would argue that, no, I'm not against these technologies, but once again, I think you can misuse these technologies like any other technology. Well, even in just that example, you've already opened up the Pandora's box, right? If you're going to fix sickle cell anemia, okay, well, what can't we fix? Can we fix cleft lips? Okay, well, then can we fix just being ugly? Can we fix just being uh, stupid, having ADHD, all these various things to the point where now you have designer babies, right? Uh, it's a slippery slope and, and there's really no place that you can draw the line, uh, in my opinion, to say, okay, this is how we're going to use it correctly and anything other than this is incorrectly. And even then, if you do draw a line, what's to stop people from crossing it? There really is no way to prevent the misuse of technology.